we're going to learn how to play song number 57, The Snake Charmer on the Trumpet. In this song, if you look at the end of the line, it says R-I-T. That starts for that stands for retardando, which means you're going to gradually, starting where it says R-I-T, every note you play after that is going to gradually get slower and slower and slower until you've played the very last note on the line, which has a bird's eye. It's like a hook with a dot in, in the middle, and that's called a fermata. And what a fermata means that you're going to hold it really long, longer than the value that's actually listed there. So if you look at the last note of the line that has the fermata over it, it's a one count note. It means that you're going to hold it that longer than one count. If you are playing with a conductor or a band, you would hold, if you have a note with a fermata, you're just going to hold it out as long as the conductor says, and then when they cut you off, you stop. Because you're playing by yourself, you can hold that last note out as long as you'd like. So you're going to, starting where it says RIT, you're going to gradually play slower and slower and slower until you hold that last note out. And it adds a little drama to the music. It adds, makes it a little more exciting. So starting at the very beginning, we have a two eighth note pickup. So it's a one beat pickup, but two eighth notes equals one quarter note. So we have two eighth notes, um, so one beat pickup into the first full measure of the song. So we're going to start with D, E, F, E, D. Here we go. One, two, three. The next part, you're going to play D, E, F, A. Let's just play that. Ready? And. And then we're going to slur E to F and then play a D. Ready? And. Now we're going to play F, G, A. Ready? And. Now you're going to play A, A, and you're going to slur A to G. Ready? And. Now you're going to play E, F, G. Ready? And. And you're going to play G, G, and you're going to slur G to F. Ready? Play. Now, like the beginning, you have D, E, F, E, D. Ready? Play. Now, we're just going to go over the notes first for this last section, so don't worry about the retardando or the fermata. We're just going to go over the notes. We have D, E, F, A. Ready? And. Now, we're going to slur E to F. And then we're going to land on a D at the end. Now, starting at where it says R-I-T, we're going to play each one of those notes slower and slower and slower. And then when we get to the last note, the D, we're going to hold it out nice and long. So it should sound something like this. D, E, F, A, E, F, D, like this. a little more drama it sounds dramatic at the end we're going to go through all the notes of this song one more time but this time when we get to the very end we are going to add that retardando and the fermata um together at the end here we go we're starting with d e f e d let's just play that one two three <laughs> Gonna go through this whole entire thing but every note we're gonna play is gonna be slightly slower until we end on the last note so we have d e f a you're gonna slur e to f 
D. Ready? Two, three. Great. Let's play through the whole entire song without stopping. If you look at the beginning of the song, it does say Andante. So we're playing it at a medium, slow tempo. And it also says piano, so we're going to play it soft and quiet. Here we go. When we play this song, I want you to imagine a snake kind of dancing or squiggling its way out of, um, of a basket. Um, so if you, you probably heard the song, da -na 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 -na. so it's kind of, that's, I want you to actually picture that when you're playing it and draw a picture with your music. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Great job. I can't wait to hear your recordings.